Welcome back into the film room. I'm your host, Eric Turner. Today, we're taking a quick look at two plays from the Bills Steelers game. Same play concept, same run, same defensive front, some slightly different players on the second play, and a huge difference when we're talking about how the Bills defended it from the early in the game to later in the game. So it's all about evaluation in the preseason. So we're going to evaluate what the coaching staff did differently and how the players on the field reacted. So it's a mid zone run, a zone run to the left side of the field. You see, prior to the snap, Steelers are motioning a wide receiver across the formation. It's man coverage. So that pulls away Taron Johnson from the front side of this play. Zone run to the weak side, to the wide side of the field. And what happens on the back side is Tim Settle trips, hits the turf, and rolls up on Puna Ford. And that's important because in this defense, it's all about 111th. It's all about cohesiveness and everyone working together. Edge is set by Epinesa. You see Dotson scraping down the line of scrimmage, a scrape exchange by Milano because Puna Ford Shot the backside A gap on this play. You can see on the snap, he shoots that backside A. So then Milano's scraping down the line of scrimmage. But the right guard does a great job of taking an angle to Milano to cut him off on the backside of that. So both of the linebackers are covered up. But you can see there's a really nice gap right here for the running back. And that's because the Bills weren't able to squeeze from all angles. The linebackers weren't able to squeeze the gap. And then Puna Ford couldn't work back down the line of scrimmage to squeeze that gap on this play because he ends up on the turf. Warren hits the hole, and he's off to the races for the touchdown. Now, ideally, on paper, like I said, scrape exchange here, edge set by Epinesa. Dodson should be playing in this gap right here, so helmet should be on this side of the guard. Again, ideally, but... It's not all on him. All these guys need to be closing down this gap and really forcing the cutback on this play or shutting it down at the line of scrimmage. They don't. All of those things go wrong, and that allows Warren to take it to the house for the 62-yard touchdown on this play. All right, let's fast forward to later in the game. Same run concept, same defense, same personnel, but a much better job at defending this zone run. On the front side, and then when the running back cut it back, the defenders were there to make the stop. So on the snap, motion across the formation, Neil's traveling with him. But watch Puna Ford. Look at him blow this center up at the line of scrimmage. Helmet still on the inside, just like the last play. But he plays with power and leverage and blows this guy up. So these three defenders essentially forced a cutback by the running back. And who's there to make the tackle? Dorian Williams, the rookie from Tulane. He recognized this play from earlier and how this guard is going to work over the top and try to cut him off. Look at him stay over the top of that block. Undercuts that block and is there to make the tackle with Basham. Just great recognition of the combination that is working to him, getting ahead of the play, getting ahead of the block working off of Puna Ford and recognizing that the cutback is going to happen, and he's right there to make the tackle. Again, the preseason is all about evaluation, the evaluation of the staff, schemes, concepts, assignments, but more importantly, how players can react on the field and how they can adjust on the field. As you saw early in the game, this was a big play, and it was defended slightly differently from some of the same personnel, but then when you add some new personnel later in the game, those depth players like Dorian Williams, he does a much better job on this play at staying over the top of that block. And when the cutback lane is there, when the guys on the front side of this run did their 111 and the cutback comes, he was right there with Basham to make the tackle. 